Welcome you back in here to Fox 2 News in the morning. Mark and Gil Holthaus lost their son Greg at just 18 years old. He died from sudden cardiac arrest all because of an enlarged heart. So now it's his family's mission. They encourage young people to get heart screenings. And so they hold two different heart screening events a year. One in the summertime where I first met you, Gail. Mm -hmm. yep. And then another one in February, which of course is Heart Health Month. So thanks yes. for joining us and, and also sharing Greg's story with, with everyone. You really help a lot of families and probably save lives. Well, thank you, thank you. That's that's our mission. Um, we, you know, we couldn't save Greg because we didn't really know what you know that he had a, a heart condition. So now that's part of our mission is to, you know, help other people find out if their child has something, and hopefully they don't. But knowledge is power. That's my favorite saying. Absolutely. And, and your son was an athlete. He played a couple of sports too, right? Yes, he played football and baseball, and he loved coaching. Coaching was also his, you know, his thing. Probably I always thought he would have, he would have been a coach somewhere at some point because I think he liked coaching almost as much, if not more, than playing. So. But his legacy lives on with these heart screenings you guys put on. You've got another one going on next weekend. So yes. tell us a little bit about those and, and why people should come out. Okay, so yes, we are having um, uh, a heart screening next weekend at, we're having two on Sunday, Sunday, February 18th at the YMCA in Edwardsville on, on Essex Drive. It's the Niebuhr, I can't say that word, <laughs> Niebuhr, Niebuhr, uh, facility. Sure. And um, so we will hold it there. We have openings for 60, uh, 60 young people, 12 to 22 years old. Uh, we're about half full, maybe well, probably a little more than half full now. Um, and then the next day um, we have a screening in Highland, Illinois at Holly's House of Hope, which is um, behind City Hall in Highland on Jockey Street. Um, and there too, we have 60 spots and we're about the same, you know, a little over half full. So we do have openings for people to come out and get screened. And what they do is they, um, they do an EKG and they do a limited echo. And these are done by um, hospital sonographers. So they are used to looking at hearts. Mm -hmm. So um, after that's, after they have their EKG and echo, the results are sent to a pediatric cardiologist and he reads them and he will, you know, tell them, give the results back with a digital copy so that they can show to their doctor what, you know, what they had or what came up. Also, the digital copy is good because maybe a couple years down the road, if something comes up, they can say, well, this is what it looked like in 2024 and this is what it looks like now. Gail, thank you so much. This yes. is so much more than just a doctor listening to if your heart's beating. And up until yes. I met you, that's all I had ever done. So thank mm -hmm. you. You really are inspiring people to learn much more about their health and take charge. So we'll put all these details over on our website, fox2now.com. Mm -hmm. But thank you so much for thank taking you. the time and we'll see you next weekend. Thank you for having me. I right. appreciate it. We'll be right back.